I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. It seems like you're having some doubts. Why don't you hike around for a bit and let me know when you're ready? Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby.
Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and... I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was gonna marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine, he'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that, it'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <laughs> I've just lied about it for over 10 years. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. <sighs> Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. 
No dice. Man. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? Um... Because, remember, it was for a lot of people, like five. I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, well, we should just call it the Big Fire if we think it's going to be. The Big Fire? Yeah. Well, that is practical. Always my goal. I'm actually amazed we've never used that name. Sometimes the best names are the most obvious. The big fire it is. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. 
Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... What? What could we do? Well... Let me tell you. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem, bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that.
I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Look, I could hike over there and look around, but I won't be able to get through the fence. How do you know? I already tried months ago when I was out there hiking. <sighs> Curiosity got the best of you, huh? Rightfully so, in hindsight. Well, oh, shit. I could spend all day banging on it and see, I guess. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. All right, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. 
If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, well you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hailing me? Following me around? Like, working with other people? Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes, and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I... I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. Maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies, taking notes, walkie-talkies. Whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. That's 
That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, D. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, the big fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. <laughs> where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Scouts. 
It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. You ever talked to any of the scouts? here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good.
Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So, what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfair Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The big fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? 
It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there.